Yo, what's up everybody? It's me, Robert Moraine, dancer, entertainer, and welcome to the second edition of the Reactions and Critiques series. Let's get into this. So I know for the past few weeks, a lot of you have been waiting for this and bugging me about it, and I'm sorry that it's taken so long, but I've really been waiting for this whole vlog setup to be finally finished, and it is! And everything's so much easier to do now, and there's no reason for me not to be pumping these out. So if you have submitted a video and I don't get to it today, I'm sorry, but I will eventually get to it in the future. And if you wanna submit your video, do it now because the line is getting longer and it is going to take even longer later down the line. So if you wanna be critiqued on one of these videos, drop your link down in the comments and let's get into this first video. First video is coming from Aris Poppin. Let's do this, Aris. The hell one. <laughs> He said, come here. It's a cool intro. Little slow motion going on. Nice electro funk stuff going on. The modern twist, I like that. I like how you're continuously popping and grooving with no matter what you're doing, you're always hitting that beat, which is cool. Jekyll would be proud. <laughs> All right, nice little tuck combo right there. He pulled it out, pulled out of it with a wave, and then went back in, nice. Nice concept, I like that you're playing with that, not just continuously dancing sporadically, but there was a nice concept there. And it, and it flowed very smoothly. Nice little neck isolation. I really like how you always fall back on a hit. That's a really good thing to be doing. It's a very dancey thing to be doing. Ah, nice clean touch, man. Very cool. Ah, nice little isolation. Very cool, man. All right, I'm gonna stop it right here. Awesome video, I was popping respect. That's really cool. I know I, I've talked to you before and I know you're from Kurdistan and I understand your difficult situation. And it's, it's inspiring to me and it's amazing to me that you're at this level in the middle of nowhere where there's no other poppers. So you really, you really have a pretty strong foundation for being so isolated and I give you much respect, my friend. Um, a couple of pointers that I'm going to give you about your dancing is first, the environment around you. You have this interesting environment. It's very beautiful. You have these railings and you have, you're under a gazebo and you never really acknowledge the environment around you. And it could um, make your, your dancing a little bit more free and give you a little bit more movement and variety with your, the dynamic of your dancing if you started to play around with your environment. That was also a tip that Jekyll gave me and my old crew a long, long time ago, was to always play with your environment. And you could come up with a lot of cool new dance concepts if you try to experiment with that, or not. It's just a tip that I would throw out there, but you don't really need to do it. I understand that you were popping to this elect kind of like electro-funk song the way you were supposed to be anyways, but I did notice the nice background and you could have played with it a little bit more. You, the railing was just there and you could have grabbed it and done something a little bit interesting just playing with the railing and went back to your dancing. Or just acknowledge that you were under a gazebo and that it was beautiful or something. You could tell a story with your environment, that's all. It's not something that was absolutely necessary for this video, but something that I thought about while you were dancing. Another thing um, is maybe 
try moving around and moving your feet a little bit more. A lot of your, your moves are based on your arms and your body and your head, but we don't really get to see below what's happening below your waist. First of all, the cameras focus like on you in a portrait kind of way. We don't really get to see below your, your waist at all. So we never get to see your footwork. And another thing that looks really nice on camera is when you look away, like a twist of flex or something, and you come back and it kind of gives this tension and release when you finally come back and face forward again. And I find in a lot of dance videos, people always face the camera, but you can leave the camera and not focus on your audience for a couple of seconds, as long as you come back at the end. So that's a tip for anybody out there. You could really play with the fact that you don't need to always be focused in one direction. You can come back and turn around and play with it. And it gives you a lot of dynamic and more movement and keeps it interesting when you're on video. So thanks, Aris Poppin. That was a, a great video. You're a great dancer. And I'm looking forward to our collab, which I keep lagging on. But I promise I will get to it this week, next week, week after. I'm going to London next week, so it might even take a little bit longer. But Stay tuned for that. And thanks for submitting Aris Poppin. Let's get into the next video. Next video is coming from Baniac Poppin channel. Got the electricity going on. Let's do this. All right. Got that old school funk going. Rum, dum, 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 dum. Oh, okay, never mind. All right, we'll go mash up. <coughs> Should have started the video right here. Another thing is you're really far away from the, the camera. It's a fisheye lens, you should be a little bit closer. And there's also too much floor. We see too much floor, but that's not so important. Let's watch your dancing. That was a smooth wave from the floor, that was nice. Oh, and you brought it around like that. Super clean, super isolated, and on the music. Beautiful. All these little dime stop ticks, they remind me of Frantic. Really cool, man. See, and there you go, now you're coming closer to the camera. Now you're too close. <laughs> cool, man. Nice. There you go, those are those twist of flexes I was talking about in that last video. It makes it more interesting. You do a little bit of footwork, a little body work, spin around. Nice wave. Man, your waves are on point, dude. And I like how you, you keep grooving with your waves. Kind of like how um, R.S. Poppin did. He, he was grooving with his waves. He was hitting with the waves. Ah. Uh... And I like how you suspend and take your time with your movement. That's nice. Cool, man. I'm going to stop it right here. Baniac, dope video. Dope practice session. It looked cool, man. It looked like you were having fun. You were enjoying grooving to the music. That's always good. And you had some cool tricks, man, and some cool technique. I liked how you suspended um, your, your moves and your concepts. Like, you, you kept time. And that's something that a lot of uh, amateur and newer poppers don't get. They don't have the experience of doing. It's just stopping and telling a little story and, like, just suspending time, it gives the audience this tension. And it's not just like you're constantly grooving and you're just like, okay, this is, this is getting old. There's this moment where everyone's wondering what you're gonna do next. It makes us dream. And that's really, really important in a performance, in a battle, in any type of performance where you're in front of a live audience or on video. It just keeps the audience waiting for more. So I'm gonna have to point that out and definitely shoot that out as a tip for everybody, is to take your time with your movements and suspend time and animate. And that's what animation is. It's like suspending time like it's not real, like you just did your own slow motion. Or like what Baniak did, he threw something up in the air 
And you were expecting it to come down like on a four count, but he even waited until like, I don't know, he waited a few extra counts, more than what a normal person would. And I like when people do that. And I actually try and do that with my own dancing all the time. So that being said, another thing that um, I liked about your, your dancing was your footwork and your movement, your motion. You're, you're a pretty good dancer, man. I, I don't really have a lot to say. Um, something that maybe was lacking, but it's not even a tip I would give you because this is more of a practice session video and I know you weren't really performing for the camera, but if there's a camera there, I feel like you should perform for it. Um, you should perform for the camera like it's your audience. Or you had a few people in the room and you never acknowledged that they were there. So like I said to Aris Poppin, it makes a more interesting video or even just a more interesting set if you play with your environment. And in your environment, you had people, you had the mirror, you had a lot of space. And you did play with the environment, you used the space, but I felt like you could have done maybe a little bit more creatively. Um, but that being said, there, like I said earlier, it's not like you're, you have a low level of dancing or anything. I actually don't have many tips for you. Um, so maybe another tip I would give you is your video. You have this nice camera and it looks like it's a GoPro. So if you have the 4K, you could have zoomed the footage into you more because on a fisheye lens like this, you're only like this big when you stand in the, in the background like that. But if you came a lot, maybe just right in the middle of the focal point of that lens, like we would have been able to see you as the subject and separate you from the background. Um, and that's just a, a basic tip for anyone that's filming. You don't, you wanna be the subject, you put the subject in the foreground, like how I'm here, and the background's farther away from you. The wall needs to be farther away from you. So that way people are focused on you and not on the entire screen. Um, yeah, in this case, there's way too much floor as well. Uh, I would lower the floor down to about here. Right now, the, the floor takes up almost half of the video. So I would just drop the floor down and have more ceiling. And that would give your video a little bit more space. And it would make you seem like a better subject, like right in the center of the, the video. But that's just my, my point of view on the style of the video. Since I can't really critique you on your dancing too much, I'd love to see you in a battle. I think you're ready to go, man. I would just practice on the little performance aspects, but good job. Baniac, props, respect. Let's get into the next video. Next video is coming from Utkarsh Boneless Gupta. He's been a longtime fan, um, so shout out and respect. And I know you've been waiting for this video. That's why I've saved it for the end. And I've seen this video before and I really like it. Let's get into it. I have a few things to say about it anyway. There's just something about it that makes me feel happy, like, you got awesome vibes going on. And I love this, this is just awesome. <laughs> Super clean combo, I love that. Very original. As far as I could tell. <laughs> All right, dude. Perfect. And it, it, the best part about this video is it like it leaves you wanting more instead of it being like six or seven. Like I, I don't need to stop it in the middle. It's just done. And he got his point across. Awesome video, Karsh. This video makes me feel so happy and so good. And it, you inspire me to want to do a video similarly. Uh, I think one of the first things that turned me on about this video is that you're like, you're into the song, you love the song that you're using, or at least you make it look like it. And that's super important is to make it look like you're having fun. And if you're not having fun, then at least try to make it look like you're having fun. There's someone that does this all the time, does it really well. And when he gets mad, you can totally see it, which makes it funny too. He projects his emotions while he's dancing. And that's Salah. And there's a Salah-ish, thing that you have in this video and I really like it. And people tell me that I also have like crazy facial expressions, 
expressions when I dance. And that that's one of the things that people like about my dancing overall. So you totally have this, you have character, and you're trying to tell a story no matter, even if you're not trying to tell a story, you're telling a story is what I meant to say. And I love that. And you have a great character and I would keep going full out with your own style because you got what it takes to be one of those original dancers. Because this is very original, very original. Um, okay, so critique time. I would say you need to work on your foundation, your popping foundation. And I realize that that's not easy if you're living halfway across the world and you're just so far away from the source that it's hard to see and understand the foundations of popping. But there are, there are references and sources online that I will recommend to you right now. Um, the first one being J-Rock's um, classes on Vimeo. Um, he has a big, long series of all these different techniques and foundational techniques of popping that are just like, I want to say priceless, but <laughs> he does charge for his videos. But I would say if you're trying to learn about popping from the source, watch J-Rock's videos. They're worth the money. They're not too expensive. They're cheaper than going to an actual class, and he's teaching you the foundational elements of popping from the source, he went to all of the OGs like Boogaloo Sam and Poppin' Pete and just like everybody. He's learned from everybody and he's just sharing the knowledge just like to the whole world and it's all right there on this channel. So I would check out J-Rock's videos. They're a gold mine of foundational elements for popping and I see that your, your style is based on popping and I would really really highly recommend working on your foundation because you already have your character, you already have moves, you have great combos. If you could just hit really hard and isolate and have just better angles on your tuts, oh man, you would be a killer. So I would just work on your foundation. And that was the same problem I had when I was a younger dancer is all of the OGs would always tell me, man, you have everything, you just need to work on your foundation. If you could tick with your flexibility, if you could tut while you were in a back bend, if you could hit out of this and isolate through that. There's just so many foundational elements that will be able to link all of these different moves and styles that you have. It'll just put them all together and you'll, you'll just be able to seamlessly flow in and out of all your moves instead of them just being isolated ideas, which I feel like you have a little bit of a a tendency to do kind of little choreographies and then you switch from that choreography to another one. And uh, I think foundation will give you the help you need to have those punctuation marks in between your sentences and ideas and structure it in a way that looks more dancey and you would be able to battle and freestyle a little bit more. Um, foundation, man, foundation. And that goes for everybody. Ares Popping and Baniac, the first two videos that I just critiqued, you guys had a pretty strong foundation, but maybe if you if I mixed you two with Utkarsh, the last video, you guys would make like the ultimate popper. You'd have the strong foundation and the musicality mixed with the creativity and the character of Utkarsh, it'd be perfect. So I would take notes from each other on this one. The first two guys take notes from Utkarsh on being expressive and creative, and Utkarsh watch these guys and watch how they play with the simple concepts and ideas, the stuff that's not so eye candy, and um, watch how they flow and go in and out of different things. And you guys, I think, all could learn from each watching each other and taking notes from what you guys don't do or don't practice. So that being said, we're almost on, 20 minute, on a 20 minute video, so I'm gonna end this now. And like I said before, if you wanted to submit your video for a future um, reactions and critiques videos like this one, please leave your link down in the comments. And um, thank you all for submitting. I will get to the ones that have been waiting as soon as possible. Just give me some time. I need time. Anyway, thanks for tuning in everybody. Until next time, peace out.